in this session we are going to discuss about two macros in AutoCAD. First one is for extracting the area of triangles, rectangles and other polygons in an AutoCAD drawing. Second macro is for printing these areas as text object into the same AutoCAD drawing. This macro can be a useful tool for engineers and draftsmen who are working with survey maps and drawings. You can see triangles, rectangles, squares and a few other polygons in this drawing. To find out the area of an object in this drawing, I can use list command. Some people may use the properties windows for the same. Area command can also be used for finding out the area of AutoCAD objects. But any of these methods won't be feasible when we deal with a drawing which contains thousands of AutoCAD objects. Interesting fact is every object we see in our drawing is made of a polyline. Even rectangle created with rectangle command is a polyline. We'll create a rectangle here. Select it. List command. Object type is listed here. It says LW polyline. That is lightweight polyline. So extracting the area of every polyline object will do the trick for us. And polylines which are not closed also have area. I will make a polyline here. List command. You can see the area here. To create a macro for extracting the area of polygons and polylines present in this drawing, go to VBA editor. Insert a module. I will name this macro as extract area of polylines. All those extracted details from the drawing will be written into a text file. We need to create a text file for that. Open file path. I want this file to be created in E drive. Then file name. Extracted data.txt is the file name. Otherwise, extracted data is our text file for output as one. To know more about this method, please watch my video on how to export data into text files using VBA. Declare in memory X and Y as double. Each polyline object will have a start and end point. Here, these variables X and Y will be used to store the coordinates for starting point of each polyline object present in our drawing. Declare in memory excellent cat object as a cat object. When we declare a variable as a cat object, it can be used to refer lines, polylines, text, and any other object in AutoCAD. Then declare another variable excellent cat p line as a cat lw polyline. Variables declared as a cat lw polyline can be used to refer polylines only. For looping through every object present in this drawing, I will define a for loop. For each excellent cat object in this drawing dot model space if excellent cat object dot object name equal acdb polyline then set excellent cat polyline equal excellent cat object now the coordinates for starting point of each polyline object present in our drawing will be stored into the variables x and y for that x equal excellent cat polyline dot coordinates 0 y equal excellent cat polyline dot coordinates 1 for printing these coordinates into a text file Print file number 1, x, y, ambassan x, comma, ambassan y. Print file number 1, area, ambassan excellent cat p line dot area. This statement will print the area of polyline considered for each iteration of the for loop. Then end if to close the condition statement. Then next to close the for loop. Then close file number 1. I will add a pair of statements so that we don't need to open the text file after executing the macro. After adding the statements, the text file will open itself as soon as we hit the run button. Declare in memory excellent cat as variant. Excellent cat equal shell notepad.exe ambassand file path and file name vp normal focus.
Now back to our drawing. Execute the macro. Coordinates for starting point of every polygon or polyline in our drawing and corresponding area are extracted into the text file called extracted data. Now the second macro. Macro for printing the extracted values of area into this AutoCAD drawing. Go to VBA editor. I will copy this code into a new module. We'll change the name of the macro. Open e area of polylines dot scr for output as two. This statement will create a new script file for printing the text. Declare in memory p as integer. p equal one. This variable is to name the polylines or polygons for identification. Now I will make a few changes in the code so that the extracted details are easy to read and understand. We'll do some formatting for the extracted coordinate values. Then the naming for each polyline. Object inside double quotes and the variable p. Print file number 2 text ampersand x comma ampersand y for 0 area ampersand format excel and cat p line dot area this line will activate text command and will print the area of polyline into coordinates specified here to know more about script files please watch my video on how to write script file for creating lines circles text and many other tasks in autocad p equal p plus one close file number two Execute the macro. The extracted details are more readable now. To execute the script file, go to Tools, select Run Script, specify the script file which we have created using the second macro. And you can see the extracted areas are printed into the starting point of every polygon otherwise polyline in this drawing. The code explained in this video is available for download in my blog. For feedback and discussion, please make use of the comment section. And if you are visiting this channel for the first time, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any video releases. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.